Tokelau remains in lockdown following the announcement of its first COVID-19 community cases. Between May the 15th and the 26th, four community cases have been reported in Nukunonu. Lydia Lewis has the latest. Tokelau is now officially the second to last country in the world to have experienced community transmission of COVID-19, with Turkmenistan still at zero cases. On top of the four community cases in Nukunonu, there is one border case and there have been two recorded at the border on Whakaofo. Tokelau Government General Manager Alkusitino Vitale says the index border case arrived on the Lady Samoa with more than 70 other people in Tokelau on Sunday, May 14. They stopped off at Atafu and Whakaofo. All passengers who disembarked on Nukunonu tested negative on day one. But on day three, a 48-year-old male tested positive. A week later, on Sunday, May 21, the man's son tested positive, becoming the first community case in Tokelau. I spoke with Mr Vitale, the government spokesperson, who was also on the voyage. Though it was a shock to the village, for us who was uh, responding, um, no, it wasn't, because we knew it would you know, eventually get to Tokelau. So, um, yeah, so I, I, we prepared for that purpose, you know, that it will arrive in Tokelau. We've been very encouraged by the results, which has been very overwhelming and satisfying for us. At the Taupulinga meeting, there were, you know, a sense of fear uh, was still there, but I, I, I hope that what has transpired, the response has answered a lot of the questions, you know, the uncertainties about readiness of our response to safely guard Tokelau in the event that there is, you know, COVID. And of course, you recall that Atafu was the first to be successfully controlled at the borders. Now, Nukunonu has had an experience with a community case, well, five community cases, sorry, four community cases. And Fakaofo has also had its first cases at the border. So I think it's, you know, everybody has had a taste now. And hopefully that would uh, bring about some better understanding of the new response based on what's happening in the world. And hopefully Tokelau will start, you know, easing off some restrictions, but still keep the fundamental protection to protect Tokelau, given that we have not had our five-year-olds below vaccinated. And what is your message for Tokelau in this moment of uncertainty? The message would be is to have courage. We have a a very good high percentage uh, immunity, herd immunity rate, which is really helping with the the positive cases. Uh, It's just been flu symptoms. Uh, fever is, of course, the, 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 the most difficult one. But apart from that, you know, people uh, are recovering. So that should give us some confidence in that we have a very good uh, herd immunity throughout Tokelau because everybody is vaccinated apart from the five and under, as well as the those who refuse to get vaccinated. But then, of course, we have some who have left Tokelau since then. And... The council is uh, considering further review of the borders and for Tokelau to just to give their trust to the health. They've proven once on Atafu that they are capable of managing uh, positive cases. And the situation in Fakaofa and Nukunonu is further evidence that the health team are ready to take on the challenge. He says the restrictions in place mean Matiti School on Nukunonu is closed, as well as all government offices. Essential services like the hospital, co-op store and finance are open, with special arrangements in place to minimise people moving about in the village. People are allowed to feed their livestock between 7am and 9am. Mr Vitale says the five-day lockdown, which is only in place in Nukunonu, ends on Sunday 28 local time.